Welcome to Inspiration in Action Television, where you'll meet people who will inspire you to bring your dreams to life. Our guest today is Lisa Catalan Palmer, one of the most enthusiastic consultant coaches I think I've ever met. Lisa and I have known each other for a couple of years and again have been on kind of a parallel journey in yes. a way, both starting our businesses around the same time. You were an HR person, human resources yes. person for a long time, working in sort of the corporate environment. That's right. What forced you out? Well, what inspired me out, I think, is a better way to put it. So I worked as an HR consultant and also as a management consultant for over 20 years. And um, I always had a yearning to really help people with their careers. And um, I was doing more corporate stuff, you know, corporate recruitment strategies and, and things like that. But what I really enjoyed was working with individuals. And I started off by following my heart. Um, I had... Um, some desires to help people on more one-on-one -on -one basis as well as people in organizations. I also do uh, coaching and consulting with leaders and uh, there's some key messages that I want to get out there mm -hmm. and one of them is you know try to find out what you're really passionate about in your life and then look for the inspiration. That's where I think Kathy you know what you teach is, is, is bang on, is because once you figure out what you want to do is how do you get there? It's not always easy. It can be mm -hmm. challenging. Mm -hmm. And um, the tools that you teach are fantastic. And I think um, it's, it's the ingredient that people need to make their dreams come true. Well, it gives you a little bit of a map, right? That's and right. some tools that you can call on to help. But what's really interesting and key to what you said, I think, is helping people find what it is that really is their life's purpose. You know, we finish school, we start jobs, we raise families, and somewhere along the way in many cases, we lose sight of what, what our dream was when we were young. And that's what people tell you when you get yeah. to midlife and you're starting to really reconnect with your own truth, is think about what you loved to do when you were a kid. Exactly. Did you love to color? Did you love yeah. to play? What did you love? Did you love music? Yeah. And start to tap into that stuff. That's one of the things that I think is really key. And so you've helped a lot of people with their transitioning, yeah. with learning about their what their where their skill sets are, really. Yeah. So so that they can start to search out new work. Yeah, it's a, it's a different era that we're talking about now too. When you're talking about more independent business people, yes. and and so really the world is our oyster, isn't yes. it? Yes. Well, I think people are starting to shift a little bit in their in their career choices. Um, I've had the privilege and honor to help people uh, over seventy people in the last year who've lost their jobs um, as a result of some of the cutbacks that have taken place in the in the market, both public sector and private sector. Mm -hmm. And um, when they come to me, you know, they're feeling down, of course. Mm -hmm. It's a huge transition. It's a shock for a lot of them. And uh, even though they might hear about it, until it happens to you, you don't really realize what the impact might be. And one of the things that I realized, because people would come to me and, and think, oh, you're just going to update my resume or you're going to, you know, help me do the interviews better. Um, and one of the <laughs> things I do or, or ask people is, what do you love to do? And wow, did I ever notice a change? And that's what really encouraged me to help people discover their passions and become a passion test facilitator, which is one of the business lines that I offer, or one of the services. And it's to get people's faces to light up. Mm -hmm. You know, you could tell that mm -hmm. it's important to them. And how do you bring that into your career? And I think that's one. That's my passion, is to help people um, transform their lives through better career decisions more aligned with their passions and what their purpose is. Mm -hmm. and because the fact of the matter is we all want to be seen and we all want to be heard in the world. Right. You know, that's all we're asking for is to be loved, seen and heard. It's a pretty simple formula. But what a complicated way to get there. Yes. We make our lives so complicated by adding on all these layers where we're not happy and we're doing things because right. we feel we have to or we have a family, we have a mortgage and we're just sort of driven by the wrong intention right. in a way. Right. And what Lisa does is really help people connect with the truth of their lives, discover their purpose. And maybe it's a government worker who for 25 years yeah. spent time working in a cubicle and suddenly discovering they have a oh, gift that exactly. they lost touch with. Yeah. So I think this is really cool too. You did become a passion test facilitator. Yes. And I'd love for you, for you to share with our with our folks at home what that's all about. Okay, so that's, uh, it's actually really interesting because it came about as a result of my following my own passions and uh, figuring out that I really, really loved the moment when a person connects with themselves for the first time and thinks about what they love, maybe for the first time in their life or first time in 20 years. And um, uh, I went and, and through my research found out and through 
interesting series of circumstances, which would take a long time to explain. Uh, but a I whole think, bunch of coincidences. <laughs> yeah, not. serendipity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which I, I, you know, through your course, I could see how everything's connected, right? And uh, I uh, found this course, uh, certification course, and I kind of was like, passion test, that's interesting, you know? And um, because, you know, you hear people talk about passion, sometimes there's a little bit of snicker or humor involved, of course. Uh, but fundamentally, it's really important. It's getting to what's in your heart and, mm. and uh, your purpose and how you want to live it. And the passion test is a tool to help people uh, drop down from their heads. So that's where the judgment and all the noise and you have a good way of expressing that uh, all the little noises and, and voices in our heads that tell us we can't do things um, judgment fear and mm. dropping out of that into your heart and figuring out what it is that you really love and you know your heart's where your passion is your courage your strength mm. and um, it really shows when people get in touch with that and they start to take action and do the things some of the things that you you've taught uh, Kathy, in terms of having courage, because mm -hmm. it does take courage. It's mm -hmm. not easy, right? Because then once you figure out your passion, you have to go out there in yeah. the world. <laughs> That's it. You can ask all the questions you want, but you yeah. might not like the answer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, you'll love the answer, but you might be afraid of the exactly, answer. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So uh, Janet Bray Atwood and Chris Atwood are the authors uh, of the Passion Test, and um, they have workshops where they train facilitators. And uh, I had the privilege of attending this summer and really getting clear on a tool that can be used very in a, in a very simple yet very profound way with people mm -hmm. to help them get in touch mm -hmm. with uh, what's important to them. I've taken the passion test <laughs> and I've pushed a couple of people to Lisa to yeah. do the passion Thank test. Thank you for that. And they have found like they were like I had no idea. Well, I sort of had an idea, but I was kind of afraid of the answer. And you won't believe the miracles that are happening for these people now that they've been in touch with what really is their truth. Yeah. So good for you. Yeah. And it really is about creating, you know, a positive work environment for ourselves. You know, connecting with what we want to do means that when we get up in the morning, we're going to love what we're going to do right. all day long. That's right. So. And that reflects on all aspects of our lives. Mm -hmm our careers, of course, but also, you know, in family life and health and even at the work environment, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. compare working with a person who's feeling down, maybe not happy compared to somebody who's passionate and loving what they do. It rubs off on people. Yeah, for sure it yeah. does. It's contagious. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming to share Thank with you. us today, Lisa. Thank really you enjoyed very much. It.